I'm over here. <laughs> All right, I'm on now. You got hope you guys can hear me now, right? I was saying welcome, welcome to Top of Arts, Hard Asset ed ed Education, and uh, we about to get into some really big stuff, right? I'm talking life changing, <laughs> legacy changing, generational changing. All right, I'll give it a minute as you guys start to hop in here. Uh, go ahead and drop your location where you can, where you coming in from. Let me know. Today I'm here in Michigan, but that could change at any given moment. What we're going to be talking about, so again, hard asset education, I just want some of you to understand that the power that, that lies within hard assets. I mean, being, becoming an investor is already an important thing. And what we have just launched is something that is going to be life changing for a lot of different people. So I guess without further ado, if you got questions, go ahead and drop them in. I'll try to check them as I go. But again, I'm Philip Blake, real estate investor, mentor, entrepreneur, investor, of course. And um, I've been doing real estate 10 years. And uh, what Tavaverse is, is essentially it's holistic financial education, right? Or uh, financial literacy. All right. A lot of people, I've seen it, a lot of people. Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> we got Farmington Hills in the building. Okay. All right. You're not too far. I've seen a lot of people as they get into... They, they, there's, we just missed, we just missed the boat completely because financial literacy is not the norm, right? And a lot of people think that they know, but they don't know. And there's really no set system for people to come in and to learn more about how to become financially free, right? How to make money work for you. So you're not always working for money. A lot of people even have the concept. They don't have the, the, the proper concept of money, right? They go into something and I'm going to work and work. And if I want to make more money, I got to work harder. I got to work longer hours etc so forth and so on okay so with top of verse we're giving you a holistic um viewpoint of all your financial literacy i'm specifically your real estate educator and we're gonna get into some of that stuff i know a lot of you got questions <laughs> i know a lot of you got questions so we're gonna get into some of that meat and potatoes but it's more it's more than just real estate and i'm gonna preface this in, in, in just a second but uh real estate very important hard asset right credit understanding not only how to get a solid credit score personally and for your business, but how to actually use it, knowing how to grow your business, right? Knowing how to grow your business, both um, in branding, marketing, right? It's a lot of different things. And then just the support that you need ongoing, right? Whether it's taxes, having resources with banks. One of the biggest things I always love to talk about is the mindset, because without the proper mindset, the steps that need to be taken to get to where you want to go are not going to be like you're not going to take them or maybe you'll miss the opportunity completely because you weren't in the right headspace. Okay. So I got a lot of different things that, that I, can, I can go over here, but the biggest takeaway I want to leave you guys here with is that this is an amazing opportunity for a lot of people. I don't say that lightly just to give you some background on myself. I've been invested in real estate for the past 10 years. And like right now, a lot of people know me because we, you know, we, we invest in multiple States. I was actually just telling uh, Jewel the other day, that it's, it's funny because I looked up and I'm like, man, we're buying properties in like five different states. And I didn't even realize it. Right. It's like just another day of the week. OK, so a lot of people recognize for that, you know, doing hundreds of wholesale deals, doing a bunch of fix and flip. Last year, we bought like 41 properties. We got a commercial division where we're buying apartments. Uh, we're looking where our, our latest venture is buying uh, fast food restaurants as well, where Starbucks can be your tenant. How's that? If you. You know, that's something you can learn, right? Triple net where, again, they'll sign a lease for 10, 15, sometimes 20 years, triple net, and they pay for everything. And you can walk around and say, hey, uh, uh, Starbucks is my tenant, right? So we've done a lot. Of, we're, so we're doing things like that and always looking to grow. And it didn't always start like that, right? <clears throat> that is not where, where things started. 10 years ago, I'm working full time. I'm in school full time, mechanical engineer. And I take on this thing called real estate. So just for, and I'm saying this because I know a lot of you on this call may be thinking, well, I can't do it. Well, I can't do it. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough this. I don't, you know, whatever excuse that's going to be, right? We want to make, we, we, we want to make power moves, not, not, not excuses here. So to give you the short version of the story, I, again, my day, I wake up at 5, 530. I go to work. I'm at work all day, get off work. I go to school until I get out whenever that is. And then I'm doing real estate in between. At, the, at this time, mentally, I'm doing, I'm looking at it like I'm going to, I have to change my family's legacy, generationally, generationally, right? So I had a really good job I'm making like six figures a year 
everything is good. But at the same time, I'm living in my mom's basement, no expenses there. Car is like 15 or 12, 13 years old. And I'm putting everything I got into real estate, right? And as I'm putting everything into it, I, I come across a mentor. I did some vetting and I come across a mentor. And that was probably the single most, yeah, I would say definitely not this, not one of them, the thing that helped change my entire paradigm and got me to take massive action and overcome a lot of different um, obstacles, if you will. Now, even with my, the mentor, I had a lot of, I still bought my hair, right? Because I didn't come from money or anything like that. So I had a lot of mental blocks that he taught me the real estate, the tactical side of things, but not necessarily how to how to have a proper mindset, how to think about something, how to do marketing in a business, right? How to be consistent with that. And it was a lot of different things. So even with all the help, I want to like, it, it ended up taking me almost, I think it was 22 months, 22 and a half months before I was actually able to make money in real estate. Okay. A lot of perseverance, right? Getting to the point where you're like, man, I'm, you know, I'm almost you know down and out. Right. And this mentor, by the way, wasn't free. I had to pay him. Uh, again, it was a big financial shift for me as well. Not just a mindset shift. It was a big financial shift. I paid the guy 3K, which is the most I'd ever spent on anything. Right. And uh, that's what I, I, I paid him. And I never met him before. And I'm, I remember putting on a credit card because I was hoping that, you know, I wasn't getting scammed and have to get my money back or something like that. So uh, so I'm doing that. And even with his help, awesome mentor. It's still like I'm, I'm making progress, but I'm failing. And at the time, I didn't realize I was failing forward. OK, so when I mean failing forward, I mean just the just the concept of you make a mistake and you improve and maybe you you fail, but you fail again. You fail better next time. But I didn't realize I was doing that. So it took a lot of perseverance. Hey, what's up, Don? What's up, Nick? Ray? Man, a lot of people on right now. And um, point is, um, I didn't realize that that's what was happening. So I was failing at every point you could think of. Right. And I remember I got to the end where I was just like, man, those 22 and a half months, I was like, man, this, you know, what did I do? You know, everybody in my family thought I had already made it, right? You know, you've got an awesome job, awesome career, you know, you're making all this money, you're done, you're set. And here it is almost two years later, I really don't have anything to show for it, right? And I remember getting down to almost my last, just to kind of finish the story for you guys. I, I remember almost getting down to my last in marketing, I think it was a few hundred bucks, and the lead came through. I'll save you the story, but uh, uh, Lee came in and I just doubted that deal every single step of the way, every step of the way. It came in. It was an awesome deal. But I'm like, man, something's going to happen. Somebody's going to steal it from me because I had my mindset was defeated at that point. Something's going to happen. And I just kept pushing forward. That was probably the biggest takeaway from that story is that, you know, I'll actually go ahead and go through it because I think it'd be very valuable in the art and in in understanding and developing the mindset of perseverance and just taking the next action. Even when you don't know what to do or you're unclear about what you should do next or if things are gonna work out, just take the next step. Just take one more step. Just do one more rep, right? If you're in the workout room, right? And you'd be surprised how far that takes you. So this lead comes in, seller wants 50,000. I look at the property, it's worth 150 when it's all fixed up. I'm, you know, based off the description, the guy, you know, probably, probably, probably is 20 or 25 can work. That's what I estimated it to be. But I'm like, oh, that's probably a deal, but man, I must have messed something up. I'm sure the numbers aren't right. I'm sure the guy's not going to accept the offer. I go out. I see the property. By the way, this is a time where I'm still going to see properties myself, and I'm actually still going in person. We don't do that anymore. The point is, I go out. I'm going to try to negotiate something. He's not going to want to sign with me. He's not going to like me or whatever. I took the next step. He said, okay, we agree, $50,000. Okay, great. I'm like, okay, well, that was easy. But guess what? I've been here before, and I had failed here before, so ah, no big deal. You know, something else is going to happen, but screw it. Let me just go ahead and take the very next step. In this case was, you know, me preparing to, you know, market the property, which is what I did. And because I thought the numbers, I just, I had like had this mindset of defeat and like up here. And I didn't have a community of people around me to say, hey, man, this is normal. I didn't realize. It. I realize it now. I talk to people and they're like, oh, yeah, I had a similar story. I did this. I did that. Right. At this time, I'm all by myself. I got a mentor who I got. I can piggyback. But. I think I was one of the ones that didn't ask a lot of questions and I probably could have asked more, uh, but I'm just sitting by myself like, man, you know, I've been here before. No big deal. What do you do? Got a property in the contract. Most, what's, what's interesting is that most people at that stage would be elated to say, oh, I'm about to, I can make whatever, 10K or whatever this month and with just maybe a few hours of work. But anyway, I evaluate the property. I gave you guys the numbers. I, you know, all fixed up is worth, 
150, probably needs 20 to 25,000 in work. And what ends up happening is uh, because I didn't have confidence in the numbers, I just, I'm wholesaling. Some of you guys may not understand, some of you may understand, some of you may not understand the concept of wholesaling. Uh, we can go a lot deeper into that, but in short, you get a property or a contract and you sell the contract. You don't have to close on the property and you can make the money in between, right? So in this case, I had it for 50 and I put it out to the market for $60,000, just 10,000. I thought I could make more, but I was not confident because I, I was sure I messed something up. I was just sure, like, uh, I'm just gonna put it out at 60, okay? And and I was also actually leveraging one of the things I learned from my mentors. He said, you really can't price a property too low uh, because of the fact that, you know, you get a lot of interest, maybe multiple offers and it, the price goes up. So anyway, I put the property out. Immediately the realtor calls me, he says, um, hey man, are all your deals like this? And I'm, you know, I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, dude, our phones are really like melting. They're blowing up. We just listed this thing 15 minutes ago. Phone calls just after phone call just keep coming in. He's sending me text messages. People threatening him. Give me the guy's phone number right now. Give me the guy's number now, right? <laughs> and uh, at that point, I did get a little bit excited because I'm like, okay, maybe I, or maybe I do know a little bit about what I'm doing. But again, I had been here before and just being in real estate and having stumbling blocks and not having the proper community around me. I'm getting, you know, you know, people stealing, you know, stealing deals from you or sellers bagging out, all type of stuff happening. So it's a lot of this different stuff that mentally I knew could go wrong. So that's all I was focused on. What was going to go wrong next? So ultimately we got the property out. Um, we got it. We got it out. Multiple offers. Uh, we ended up locking in a buyer at $92,500. Okay. So that was, uh, again, we still, nothing changed. We got it for 50 and the end buyer came in at 42.5. Right. So that's a good, that's a good day, right? That's a good day's worth of work. And, uh, but at this point I'm like, okay, that's good potential. But again, I'm telling you about my mindset. Like I'm expecting something to happen. And ultimately I just doubted that deal all the way through to closing and really ended up manifesting it. Something that happened on the deal. So the day of closing, actually something did happen and we had to delay. We had to figure a couple of things out and it was just like, you know, basically I made that happen. I don't, I don't want to get real deep into how, you, you know, you manifest in reality and your thoughts and things, but that's ultimately what ended up happening. And uh, it's funny because I think the only reason why that deal closed because the seller needed me just as much as I needed him at that time. Because when I, I had to go to him and tell him, hey, I know he's supposed to close today, but everything else. Well, I gave you guys my mindset about what was going on up here for me. Literally, after I said that to the seller, he started literally re repeating all my thoughts back to me. Oh, man, I knew this was too good to be true. Oh, I knew it was something. It's always something. I, I knew this. It was always, you know, whatever. Right. He had all these negative thoughts and he doesn't know in the back of my mind. I'm thinking like, I actually agree with you, man. I've been doing this thing for almost two years, man. <laughs> Can't catch a break type of thing. Right. But I didn't show that. I had to be the voice of calm, confidence. And ultimately, we did get that deal done. So in a matter of about three and a half weeks, I made forty two and a half thousand. Right. Power of real estate. I didn't even own the property. Remember here, we're talking about, we're talking about hard assets. Right. So that's wholesome. Right. And I was able to make that money. Why? So I could then put it into hard assets. Right. So that would produce income. Remember, at the beginning of the call, I talked about just the, the concept of like working for money. You I have to work harder and harder, longer and longer to make money. But ultimately a hard asset, what it allows you to do is to do something one time or place money somewhere one time and it consistently spits off income for you. Now you have money freedom and you also have time freedom. Okay. A lot of people, when they talk about financial freedom, financial, that's what it is. It's money freedom. So that way you can go out and do the things that you want to do and live the life you want to live. But then you got to have the time to be able to do it. Right. Because. It's not always about how much I know a lot of people are like, hey, I don't make enough money. But guess what? There are people that do look at some of the doctors and things. They got big houses. They got nice cars and stuff like that. But a lot of them working 20 hours a day. And one of my mentors told me, say, you don't want to be the richest person in the graveyard. Right. Because what she I mean, I guess that's very. Uh, uh, what's the word? That's a that's a very nice thing to do for your family legacy wise. But. What you, I mean, you can't take it with you, right? So you actually want to live your life. You actually want to enjoy your life. And that's where hard assets come, come in. And this is just stuff that people are not teaching. These just basic concepts of how to approach it. And because they're not teaching that, a lot of people just don't know, 
Well, that's what we're here for. Top of verse is a holistic approach to not just doing real estate, but everything, right? Because when I was coming up through my first mentor, well, through my first mentor in real estate, I was learning everything about investing and how to do deals, but it was so much about business, taxes, time management, uh, organization, you know, managing the day, being productive, um, all these type of soft skills that I didn't realize I, I didn't have or I had to. So it was all it was other stuff, even though I knew how to do real estate, it was holding me back. And I also didn't have a community of people to actually support me or that I could see that, oh, OK, this is I'm not the only one. I thought I was the only one to have these issues, but it was others as well. But I was just in this box all alone thinking I could do it by myself, which ultimately led me again. You don't it shouldn't take you two years to, to make money. Hopefully not. That's what the, that's what this is for. Right. And then just to put this in the, in, in perspective for you. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and put this out. So, look, so I so again, just because everything we do, people approach me all the time. They you want help. You know, hey, mention me this, you know, help me grow my business like your business. And it's usually a higher uh, level of business entrepreneur, right? And they, I work with them and they'll pay me 25, 20, uh, 20, 25,000 for three, four months. I help them make their business. I give them some of our stuff and they go out and they go to go out and grow six, seven figure businesses, right? And it's awesome for them. Well, not everybody is just waking up in the morning and say, oh, I'm going to go drop 25,000 and, and, and get this. And now some people are not at that place where you can even like, they already have businesses and they're growing from that. Well, here, like, I don't, I'm not like one of my biggest things here. Why, why, so why did I do top of us, right? Why, why, why am I here? Why am I one of the educators? One of my big things is impact and influence, right? The community, people in general, because I know so much in society how much I've had to invest in myself just to be able to get to where I am. I know that most people are not going to see those opportunities because whatever, the right time didn't come. I was lucky enough and had enough thought process to, 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 to go out and, and continue doing it. And, you know, now I'm where I at. And I like to give the opportunity to the masses, right? So when people want me to coach them personally, like, again, there's people with bigger business that, that request that. But what, what what about the masses? Well, here you go. This is what Tava Verse is. I'll talk about, like, the money piece of it. But the point is, not only am I going to be here helping you grow your portfolios, accumulate hard assets, understanding real estate so you can evaluate deals and all these other things and do that for yourself. Not only are you getting that and I'm not holding anything back, but you're also going to get the credit piece, right? I didn't know about credit, right? So I'm sitting there bootstrapping. When I told you I was starting my mom's basement, the reason why I was in my mom's basement, because after I made money, paid taxes, everything that was left over that was outside of me eating and surviving was going back into the business. I was literally bootstrapping. I didn't, you know, if I didn't have it, I couldn't do anything with it. And there's a lot of like discipline and stuff that comes with that. But I didn't realize the power of credit. I didn't realize how to, the right way to actually utilize credit, how credit could potentially pay you just for having good credit personally. And then how you could leverage that into business credit to go get access to more funding. And I'm not talking about $10,000, $20,000. I'm talking about 50, 100, 150. When you start talking business credit, now you're talking 150, 200, half a million, right? So you start talking. I didn't even realize that. I didn't have connections for with with banks, right? We have it's Alphaverse has a bank connection that wants to lend money to you, right? So you have that. I, I didn't have any of that. So now you're getting that in addition. Okay. Talk about your maybe you're in, in business, you want to grow a business, it's not quite real estate, but you do want to invest in real estate, but you got some other stuff you want to do. That's fine because real estate is not a passion for everyone. Doesn't have to be a passion. But guess what? You can also learn branding. Right. Branding and marketing to, to, to grow your company. Right. And not only to grow it, you got to have the, the proper systems. You got to have the people don't realize when I was doing everything myself, I remember we had five deals going at once. OK, we had just five deals going. And I was like, man, I was through. I was like, man, I'm all right. I got to remember this. I got to remember that. I gotta write this down. What do I do? I'm pulling my hair. I'm trying to figure out. You can see I still got my hair. Right. So I didn't pull it all out. <laughs> so the point is, um, uh, I was like, I was everywhere. But once I learned to have the proper people, process and systems, the whole operation set up, we, we doing, well, we actually not doing deals right now because it's after nine, but where I'm at, but if this call was an hour or two earlier, we'd be doing deals right now. Okay. And I don't have to be tied to it. Right. So you learn how to do that in your business, whether that's real estate or not, you probably want to invest in real estate regardless, 
right? So that way, again, you accumulate hard assets, you build uh, wealth for yourself and wealth is measured in time. Please understand that. I don't know, you know, somebody dropped that in the, in the comments. Wealth is measured in time, okay? So just because you're a doctor, uh, yep, just, yes, sir, yep, just, just because you're a doctor and you make in whatever you make in per hour per day and you make a half million dollars a year, but you on call 18 hours, 20 hours, all that type of stuff that's happening, it's tough. It's tough to have a real good life. And then when you stop working that many hours, all of a sudden your income goes down. But when you have access to assets that pay you, specifically cash flow, you all, not all assets pay, uh, like give, um, give cash flow. But when you have assets that produce cash flow, which we'll be talking about here, hard assets, guess what? If you decide to sleep in the bed all day, that asset keeps working and you keep getting paid. If you decide to get out and go work 14 hours that day, well, great. You got that 14 hours, but the asset, you're still getting paid. As long as obviously, obviously you have to put, you, you have to make sure that it's the proper asset and you have the so proper expectations set up, but you keep getting paid. And that's just one asset. So now you understand the concept of, oh, I'm making money and I don't have to go to work for it. How do I do more of that? I need to do more of that. I don't want to have one unit. I don't want to have just five units. I don't want to have just 10. I want to have 100 of these. So that way I can make one of the um, biggest, most common goals I, I hear is when special people get started, they just want to make enough money to um, like replace their income, their, their, like their, their W-2 or their 1099 income, which is a very, that's a, that's a, like, that's one of the best goals to have because again, you, how, if you, you'd be surprised uh, how much money it takes, right? A lot of times people, I need to make a hundred, I need to make 500, I need to make a million, right? But when that's tied to you doing, that number has to be a big, a lot higher because you're looking like, man, I got to go work for this. But when I'm not working for it and it's just like, oh, I get to sleep and it's making me money. Come on now. Somebody say, I, I'll take it if, if, if extra 5K a month just coming in. Right. That's not a lot of money. It's only $60,000 a year. But if that was coming into you for doing nothing, now you got your time and you got the money. So now you can go use your time to go generate more money. And then when you bring in more money, what do you do? You use that money. You treat your money as minions, right? You send those minions out and say, hey, go out and bring back a bunch of friends. And this is where you, the power of investing. This is where you start to invest in, thing, in assets that bring back more minions, or in this case, money, right? Now money's working for you, literally. And it becomes a game, right? How much, how much, how, how much, how many minions, how much money can I send out? And and get them to bring back as much as possible, double, triple, whatever it's gonna be, right? While you go live your life, right? And it's not all, you know, peaches and cream, I'm out on the beach, which actually I am, but it doesn't always have to be that. It's not always that, right? Sometimes you're on the beach working, or whatever. But the point is, I don't, want, I don't want to portray that like, oh, it's just easy peasy, right? No, it takes a lot of time and experience. So this is the next big thing I want to leave you guys with. Again, we talk in mindset, we talk in hard assets, but we also talk in real estate as well because all of these principles, if I give you the power of real estate and just come out here and start just dropping tactics, you guys are going to either not perform on those tactics, but if, or if you do, you're not going to uh, incorporate them properly. You're still going to uh, hinder yourself. So that's why I'm going into this in case you're wondering, right? All of this stuff is very relevant to your success, right? Just talking about the power of cash flow and accumulating assets left and right, right? It's, it's a lot of different things. Um, you know what? Let me stop there. I don't want to go too long. That's right. What's uh okay? Beautiful Joseph. Oh, was that Beauty Joseph say flip the minions? I might take that. So you might want to copyright it. <laughs> no, I like that though. I like that. You say flip the minions, flip the money, flip the money. And this it's a a flywheel. The first time goes around might be slower, but it starts to pick up speed and momentum. And it just keeps coming. It just keeps coming, right? Who, how many people here have heard, what is the saying, would you rather have a penny that is doubled every day for 30 days or would you have a million dollars, right? Well, if you took a million dollars, you'd be costing yourself about four million because if you do the math on it, a penny that doubles and that two pennies doubles and then four pennies double and then eight cents and 16, you do that for 30 days, don't quote me. Uh, I, I think the number is something like four million, five million bucks or something like that, right? Just for 30 days, one penny, you start it. But the takeaway mindset is 
is that like 80% of that number, that four or five million number is accumulated in the last two days. So when you start and you working at something that first day, when you turn a penny into two, you're like, man, this is nothing. You told them two pennies into four, well, it's nothing. Four to eight is nothing. Eight to 16 is nothing. 16 to 32, 32 to 64, to 128, to 256, to 512, to 1024. I used to be a mechanical engineer, so I'm usually pretty good with numbers. So the point is that keeps happening over and over and over. 5.3 million, right? But if you do the math, I wish I could show it here. Maybe I'll do it at a later time. But the point is, if you go through that exercise, you will find that 80% of that 5.3 million is accumulated in like the last two or three days. So you have to put in the work. It's like farming. I always give people the concept of farming. You don't just plant a seed, drop it on the ground, walk away, come back a month later. This seed still ain't grow yet? No. Your thoughts, your ideas, your goals are seeds. And you have to be the good soil that is used to cultivate those seeds. So you got to plant that seed. You got to surround it in the, opera, in the right environment for it to be that's conducive to this growth, right? That's the people. That's the network of people. You got to water it, right? You got to have the sun, right? You, that, 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 now you can conduce it to grow. And now let's talk about the power of mentorship or just having people that's going to give you guidance. That is the number one life hack. If you don't get anything away from this call, the number one life hack to success in anything, health, wealth, love, relationships, whatever, mentorship. The one thing that used to teach you in school, oh, you should get caught cheating on the test, you get kicked out and all this other stuff. Guess what? In the real world, that's the answer. Cause why am I gonna figure out how to? How, why am I gonna figure out how to reinvent the wheel when this person over there got a whole uh, wheel producing factory, whatever, right? Now it becomes those steroids because remember I talked about that flywheel going starting off slow and it may start off real slow, but when you get to mentorship, it don't have to start that slow because you got somebody that's pulling you ahead that's been through it ten thousand times. Okay, I know it's tough for you to do X, Y, and Z. Jump on. I, I know it's tough for you to do this. Here, jump and do this. Here's what to do. And now you start to get confidence because as you were, do I do this little thing? Do I do this? I know people who talk about starting a business and they spending weeks trying to set up an LLC. That's five minutes. You don't even got you know what I mean? But when you get around somebody that's going to push you and say, no, that's not how we're doing this, right? That's not, that's, hey, get it done and let's move, let's move to the next step. No, and then don't worry about this because that's a minefield over there. I'm going to help you avoid these steps. So all that concern and fear false evidence appearing real that's in your mind, I'm going to help you get past that. Now, all of a sudden, you have permission to take the steps and go and grow, right? So that's what's different about Tavaverse. We're talking about hard asset, uh, like education, but it's a big mindset thing, right? Because not only are we giving you the financial literacy and the holistic, the holistic approach of all the things business, right? But you're actually getting support. You're getting, it's not just, hey, go to a one day seminar, two day seminar, let somebody talk at you for, you know, a couple of days. And then you go home feeling, <clears throat> you go home feeling really good and you don't do anything. No, we about results. Real people, real assets, real results. Okay. So that's what, that's, 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 that's how it, that's how it is. Right. So, uh, so y'all got me going now. So I, I, I like it, but uh, no, I see y'all comments coming in, but yeah, mentorship a hundred percent. And it's, it's when you, when think, when you think about mentorship, whatever it is you're buying speed okay when you think about it how long i mean I'll, let's i'm using myself if i had to invent a tire hell even not invent a tire if i had to construct a tire right now i don't know how long it'll take uh what do i get rubber do i use this material how do i do it blah 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 i gotta do all these different things right so it'll take me a very long time to figure out that but why would i do that i go to bell tire and just buy a tire right it's, and I'm buying the speed. Now I don't have to worry about just figuring out that how that work that tire works. Okay, what engine am I put in the car? What type of car? Well, I can have bigger and higher level thoughts that's going to be conducive. Okay. So this is the thought. This so mindset is so important. And that's got to come so that way you can actually benefit from what we're teaching about hard assets, about credit, about funding, about branding, about marketing, about systems and your operation, right? And it's certain stuff that you don't have to be an expert in because you can leverage people that do well at it. For example, taxes. Guess what? You got those, right? Resources as well. I mean, having a bank resource is amazing. But it's like, so I, I think that I've, I've kind of beaten that one, right? So let's talk about real estate a little bit because I don't want to go too long. I want to cook you guys all night. So 
I'm gonna talk about how I bought my first home, right? Again, I told you I was living in my mom's basement. I didn't care. I wish I could share the pictures on here. It's not, it wasn't a finished basement. I'll put it that way. <laughs> Old house, you got a uh, water hammer knocking on the boiler. It wasn't a finished basement. And that's where I, I did everything, office and everything there, right? But when I, but as I start to make money, again, just from being around the right community of people that taught me what to do. And sometimes it is just a word, right? I've been in, I've been in rooms where you hear something and it's like, what'd you say? Oh, you could go out and do this, that, and the other. Boom, save $50,000. Oh, and I'm talking like this is me legit, right? You know, somebody says, oh, you could do this as opposed to doing that. Just from being in the right place. We're not even talking about anything, right? So you, that, stuff, that stuff started to happen, but let's focus on the real estate, okay? So I may, I'm making money. Uh, this is probably 2016 or maybe it's 2017, but around that time, still a one-man show, not really doing much. I might have hired one person. I was making around a quarter million dollars a year, okay? And uh, as I'm making the money, I don't know a lot about taxes. Actually, it's a lot of lessons, I, even as I'm talking through this, right? I didn't know a lot about taxes. I didn't have a tax professional. But I'm a one-man show. I'm just making money, doing what I do. And I, I know I paid more taxes than I uh, probably uh, did, I, I didn't have to. And um, But I knew one thing that from being around the right people is like, you know, buy real estate, right? And as I'm making the money, I'm like, okay, I'm going to start buying a home. Now, a lot of people on here, you might want to drop a one, like, hey, I want to be a homeowner. And that's a big deal to a lot of people. And I know I'm, I'm a little bit biased because I'm a real estate investor. So when I see somebody, it's like, oh, I want to buy my first home. They may be 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50. And they want to buy their first home because they've been renting their whole life. And I look at that and it's hard for me to comprehend that because I'm like, like, we don't like this. Like, like this week we bought, like I've been in house every single day. Uh, yeah, Vegas, uh, that one didn't close, but we got we got a few, right? A few different states like Vegas, Pennsylvania, Kansas, North Carolina, um, Michigan, several in Michigan, right? So it's hard for me to understand that. The point is this is like, but that's as a business, but just from a home ownership perspective, there's a lot of different ways. You got to be able to think creatively. And if it's not just you thinking creatively, being around the people that's going to help you give access to opportunities. So here's one, here's one. Somebody here might have heard of house hacking and you may have seen a post about it on TikTok or something. And it's like, oh, that's a fancy thing, but I don't know the steps. And, but I'm here to tell you it's real. Right. You can come. You, there's a way for you to buy a property for you to live in. That is a duplex, a triplex or a quad. I'm just going to stop there and not get technical for you to live and receive rental income and it still be your primary residence. And as a result of that, your mortgage is paid, your taxes are paid, your insurance is paid. You probably make an income from the property that you just bought. So I went personally from living in my mom's basement, right? If I would have known knew this sooner, I probably would have executed on it sooner as well, but I didn't. Uh, so I you know, had to suffer living in an unfinished basement with water hammer for years, but uh, with, with plumbing issues and everything else. But um, the point is, if I would knew it sooner, I'm, I actually... I had the same expenses. I had, I made money by moving out. I bought a, I had good credit. For, I had the job and show, which again, we got people that will help specifically with that. I applied for the mortgage. I bought a quad, which means I lived in one unit and I rented the other three. And as a result of that, my living expenses were like very negligible. And it allowed me to live in a really good place and a, and a very comfortable lifestyle. And it didn't cost me a lot of money. Now, how do you do that? Well, I don't really have time on this call to go through that. Like on my calls, my calls are set for Fridays where I come in and I'm like your real estate educator. So I'll be able to come in and like walk people through and say, hey, here's where you go. Here's a here's the whatever uh, the resource that you need. Here's the programs that are being offered. And here's how the concept works. And here's what you can expect to give you like the ins and outs of what you need. But at this point, just that thought, just that thought process. I mean, that's life changing right there. Right. Man, it's tough for me not to give you guys everything, but it's tough. Point is, you don't, you cannot, you could do that just more than one time. I'll put it that way. It doesn't have to just be one time. You could do that 10 times. You do the math on that, right? 10, you do that times a quad, that's four, that's 40 units. It's 40, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's I just, that's basically why everybody only should have four, 40 units minimum, not worrying about how do I buy my first house. And the whole concept of that is just a little bit of buying our first house because we got to understand the difference between assets and liabilities. 
Okay. A lot of people, I want to own my first home, I want to own my first home. Right. But then you understand that your first home is a liability because all they do is take from you. It needs maintenance. You got to pay for this. You got to pay for that. You got to pay the mortgage. Every all they do is take. Assets produce income. So how is that an asset? Well, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. And if you do what I just told you, it will be an asset that could help you and your family grow generationally. OK, so here's where I want to go into next. <clears throat> I, I talked about this earlier, like people like. Mentorship is not my main thing. Real estate is my main thing. That's what I do. When people like in business, they come to me and they say, hey, can you coach me with this? How do you guys run your virtual system here? How do you do all these deals all over these different states? You don't even go to them. And, you know, people get me flack about buying properties I've never been to in states that I've never been to sometimes. And um, and I, I coach them, help them build the system. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> help them build the <coughs> the system. Sorry. <laughs> help them build the systems and processes that we have so they can grow and build seven, six, seven figure businesses. Well, <clears throat> that's a lot of money. Top of verse, let me just go through the plans here, right? Just for everybody here, because I'm going a little long here, but it's all right. I like to add value. Let me go through the plans. So make sure you get in touch with the person that like got you on here. Tell them like send you the link uh, so you can like sign up, learn more about it. But here's what it is. If you want to, I'll start high. If you want to like tell more people about it, right? If this is something, because I truly believe in like reciprocation and just one of the, like the laws of the universe. Okay. The energy that you put out is the energy you receive. So that's why like, you know, like I'll, I'll go to a store, I'll be, I'll be buying people groceries and things. Not because I'm thinking about what's coming back to me. I'm just thinking about putting out good energy into the universe because that's the way uh, vibration works. Right? That's a, I can do a whole sermon on that, but I'm not. All right. But that's the way uh, laws of the universe work. You put out good energy. Well, if that's you and you like, man, this is financial literacy. I'm going to learn how to like improve my family. And I want all my people around me to do well. I don't want to just hog it off for myself. If that's you, there's a package. It's twelve hundred dollars. Right. It's twelve hundred dollars to start is one time. Twelve hundred dollars. You got options. You can do twelve hundred dollars front or you can do three hundred and then the nine hundred over the next 30 days. Right. Either way, it's a one time thing. OK, that's just to get started. After that, it's one hundred and fifty dollars a month. I just told you that when people work with me, it's twenty five thousand three and four months. Right. And I know that, you know, again, my goal is to impact and influence the people that need it the most. Right. So I'm not just thinking in terms of dollars and cents. I want you guys to, to, to truly benefit from this. Right. So that's that's already still, but that's only if you want to tell people about it. There's a compensation package and you actually get another stream of income just from doing that. Right. So that's why that's why that's an option uh, as a part of that product, as, as a part of that package. Uh, so this is Tava Verse. Right. The parent company is Tava, which was which is a health and wellness company with awesome health products. Right. I'm like my biggest things is health, wealth. And manifestation right those are my three things those and i've been studying them all more than a decade okay i'm not going to go deep into Tava, but the point is they got really good health products if you want like energy you want daily like just like detoxing your body and cleansing diet and all this other stuff i can i can really talk a long time about that but i'm not because i don't want to cook you guys too long right <laughs> but the point is you could do that you get with the 1200 pack uh 1200 pack you get the products and then that gets you started for top of person. Then it's just one hundred fifty dollars a month. OK, let's say you're like, hey, I'm cool, but I'm you know, I'm more introverted. Nothing wrong with that. I'm an introvert, by the way. Very naturally introverted. I can kind of turn it on, turn it off. But again, just knowing your personality type is a whole nother trade that we can talk about anyway. Um, and you're like, hey, I'm really not going to tell many people about it. I just want to get in. I just want to improve myself, my financial say, my, my financial position. So that way I'm not thinking about 30 years retiring and hoping I got enough money. Right. I want to do better than that. And you just want that for yourself. That's fine. You don't have to tell anybody about it. And this is what can surprise me. Uh, 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 yeah, I guess I won't swear or anything. But yeah, it's, it really surprised me because it's, if you don't want to do that, you just want to hey, I want to join. I want to do financial literacy and start learning. Guess what? Two hundred dollars to start. That's two zero zero. Two hundred dollars to start. You still get the um, uh, you get products for the um, uh, the Tava products, the health products, and then again, still no change. One hundred and fifty dollars a month, right? Why is that important? I'm I'm just gonna bring it back around. Look, I'm just talking real with you guys, right? 
real estate, just for me alone, not only is that for like a different level of person, but because it's so much more expensive, it's not as applicable to everyone, but it's solely focused on real estate and the business of real estate, growing your business in real estate. Well, you may not be it. You may have never started a business. You may be at the very beginning. So this, this is what's going to allow me to pour energy and time into you. So that way I don't have to like I, th those numbers don't matter at that point. There's no way I could talk to this many people. We got 800 people at 90 people on the call. There's no way I can talk to all these people, all you, all, all of you, even, and no, even if I, I wanted to and like coach you up and go all through specific circuit, like uh, specific situations, it'd be very tough for me to do. Right. And it's like when I go and I speak at events and people say, hey, yeah, come get a cup of coffee with me and whatnot. I can't do a cup of coffee because, that you know, you start learn learning from the mindset that time is money. And it's not that I don't want to have coffee with somebody. I don't drink coffee, by the way. But it's not that I don't want to have uh, coffee with them. It's just like, OK, I'm thinking it's an hour there. It's a, a hour, two hour conversation. It's an hour back. And then I have to get mentally prepared to do whatever else I'm doing. It has to like it's it's a lot. Right. So you understand that and you start utilizing your time better. And I don't, and, and, and thanks, Joe. So I don't mean like, you know, uh, like, you know, time is only, I mean, money is only thing that matter, but literally time is money. And you just want to make sure you use it because I want to spend time with my family too, but I also want to help. And I, that's why, I'm, like, again, that's that's why I'm here. But the point is it's $200 to start and $150 a month. That's an investment that's very, very, uh, I, I, like, I don't want to talk about people's financial position, but that's something that you could, that is at least fathomable for most people if you're interested, right? You don't make excuses, you just make things happen, okay? Uh, once once you do that, not only are you getting access to real estate, but again, credit, okay, you got an excellent credit score, funding, getting access to 50, 100, 150, 200, half a million, you start getting access to extra capital. So all of you out there that are like, man, I got this awesome idea. I'm a great entrepreneur. I would do this, that, and the third, but I just don't have the money. There it is, problem solved. Because the money is not really the issue, which we'll uncover that as well, just from a mindset perspective. But boom, there you go. Now you got access to the money. Now what you're going to do? Well, if you don't know what to do, guess what? This is what we're here for. Oh, I got access to money. What do I do? Well, what, what, what's your goal? Well, I've always wanted to have, I want to start growing my passive income. Okay, boom. Here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's, here's a property for you. And the power of being able to make money as you learn is very powerful. In my story, I told you guys about how as I'm going through it, I'm bumping my head and it's costing me money every time, right? I'm learning on my I'm, I'm learning on my own dime and it's costing me money. But through the having the power having the power of a network, a community that's there to serve you and help you grow, you can actually make money as you learn, even if you're not hundred percent sure, right? I won't I won't call her name out, but you know, there's someone in the group came in. Actually, I think the credit was already good, so they didn't have to do that. But we opened their eyes to the like, you know, some of the plays they can run from credit and getting access to funding. OK, they didn't know that. So they got that. Now I got access to the capital. What do I do? I want to buy a property. I don't know how to find a property. OK, here's a property for you. And here's the pros. Here's the cons. Here's how it checks all the boxes that you want. OK, boom. So now you got all those boxes checked. You didn't have to find a property. Well, I don't, you know, I, do I fix it up? Nope, we found you one that don't need fixing up. Uh, and that also gives you some equity as well. So you don't have to figure all that stuff out. Okay, but is it a tenant in there? Because I don't, I don't, get ten, nope, don't, I don't, I've never been a landlord before. Hey, don't worry about it. We got property managers going to help you do that as well. Oh, okay. So what do I do? Oh, okay, here, just get your documents together. We get you at the title company. We'll set up clothes for you. There's bumps along the way. So it's no big deal. We'll get past them. And boom, on the property. And now the ultimate goal for that person is to learn, even you know, like so they can do it for themselves, right? So they can learn and be like, oh, okay, I learned here. But in the meantime, they didn't have to have analysis paralysis. They didn't have to bump their head and, and, and be like, well, I, I, I wish I had that deal again, but it fell through. I got to start all over. That's what was happening to me. I mean, every time I bumped my head, it was $20,000 gone, $15,000, $10,000 or something, right? Sometimes five, whatever, right? You don't have to do that. And that's the power of having that network. Okay, so, oh man, y'all got me going. Y'all got me going. So I saw a lot of things. I'm going I'm to check for, for questions here in a minute. But yeah, always operate uh, always operate from uh, Keith, Lindell, uh, Lydell. Definitely, everything we do is win-win, okay? Everything that we do is, is no losers. And that's the way we operate, right? We operate win-win situations. And... Uh, um. 
where was I going to go? Make sure you get back in touch with the person that invited you on. Like, if you got questions, ask them, you know, get a link or whatnot. Again, I only thing that we can't do is we can't want it for you. We can't do the work for you. We can give you guidance, right? We can show you the way and we can say, hey, look, this is why this is a no brainer. And this is what I would do, or this is how I would do it. And you can take years and years of experience and benefit from that. Because if you can only make decisions based off what you know, you'll have a very limited perception on life. But when you have that viewpoint of, hey, I got a multitude of counselors around me that's giving me feedback, like you're able, again, you're able to benefit from that, right? You'd be surprised how many people are in really high places, not just because of what they know but because they knew the power of asking others who are experts in their field what they know and what they would do. It's called being an expert at hiring experts. That's one of the most powerful things you can do, okay? Um, let me see here. I'm gonna see if I can go through a couple of questions here. I don't know if anybody had any, uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff. Health, wealth, manifestation, man, a lot of fire. Man, I got a lot of fire on here. That's right, that's right. Um, Inheritance, like all this stuff, we touch on inheritance, probate, properties that's passed down to you, what to do with it. I mean, it's just a lot of different things. Um, let me see here. I'm going to see if I can ask maybe a question or two. But yeah, big bag. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are funny. All I see is fire, hand claps, and uh, big bags of money. Just understand. And that's what I think I'm going to leave you guys with. Right? Um Understand that money is energy. You got a lot of us don't understand how how money works because they don't understand how energy works. All money is is just energy and it flows, right? And you don't want to be a cog in the wheel because if you're at a stopping point, most people when they don't have money, what do they do? They they squeeze, right? And they try to hold on to every penny. Well, that stops the flow of energy, and it's like water. So what does water do? It it follows the path of least resistance. You want your pockets to be the path to least resistance when we're talking about money, right? That's 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 what we're talking about. Well, it's a lot of mindset different. It's a lot of things that people do that consciously or unconsciously they don't realize keeps them from making the right decisions or just keeps them from taking advantage of opportunities, right? And they just re, re, I think Jewel said it best. She talked about people live the same life every day over and over because everything I think today. It's everything I'm gonna think tomorrow, and I'm thinking nothing different. And I, all and all along, at some point, I get to a point where I'm like, I want something different, but I don't want to change my thinking because if I don't change my thinking, I don't change my beliefs. If I don't change my beliefs, actually, I said that backwards. If I don't change my beliefs, which is the mindset, then I don't change my thoughts. If I don't change my thoughts, then I don't change my emotions. Right. Energy, emotions. Right. I don't change my emotions. If I don't change my emotions, I don't change my actions. And if I don't change my actions, I don't change my outcome. All right. So I just want, I guys want, I just want you guys to, to, to think about that uh, again. You know, top of verse. I mean, I really can't say too much more. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. Make sure that you get back in touch with the person that invited you uh, with any questions. Uh, ask for a link. I mean, we're doing a lot of different things, right? Real estate specific, we're going to be doing property field trips. I'm going to be guiding you guys on how to buy properties, how to identify properties, how to evaluate properties, and know which moves are best. And if, you, and if you're the person who's like, I got X, Y, and Z, I got this business, that business going, hey, I want to get in real estate, but I don't want to do it. Guess what? It's a solution for you as well, where you can passively make money and don't have to be the thought process. You get to be just the investor and you keep doing your thing and run that up. Right. So you make money at that. And then you look back and say, oh, those millions that was working for me over here. Oh, look, they multiply. I should start calling them bunnies <laughs> and, they, and they multiply. All right. So. All right. Peace and love to everybody on here. Uh, it's been my pleasure. Um, again, get back to the person that invited you and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hope I'll see you on the inside. This Friday is my first lesson. You know, we just launched this Friday. I'm going to be dropping some jewels, man. It's going to be crazy. No pun intended. I'm going to be dropping some really hot stuff. Uh, let me see. Do I want to take this? Oh, what's up, Felicia? Wholesale in Virginia. I think we've done the deal in Virginia. Man, you guys start dropping these questions when I'm getting ready to log off. Let me see what we got. Great call. All right. I'll let you guys go. But Richmond, Virginia, I see you, Felicia. Maybe I'll see you on the inside, answer some questions, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.